This is uh, off of our sky cam, so you can see this beautiful sky that is upon us and uh, a little bit of a wiggle of the joystick here and uh, it looks good, man, to start with. This is going to be a beautiful day. It's going to be really, really smoking hot, though. Uh, I just want you to take some precautions and make sure you take care of the kids and the animals. Make sure they don't have any issues with hydration and maybe may, make sure everybody has some shade. Check on the older folks. Make sure the people in the neighborhood that you know are taking care of themselves because what is starting out to be beautiful will be dangerous into the afternoon. A heat advisory is in effect. Temperature is 100 plus degrees as we drop down to the lowest temperature of the day just before dawn. We have 50 at Idaho Falls, a breeze at six miles an hour. It is 52 in Rexburg. It's 54 in Driggs. We'll flip that. It's 54 in Driggs, 45 in Jackson, 52 in Soda Springs. We're right there in the upper 30s for West Yellowstone, 59 degrees in Ledore and 55 degrees in Salmon. And we may see a mountain shower with enough of this, you know, monsoonal moisture that we've had to contend with, which has brought us some cloudy we get it hot enough and it may fire up. It may create some convection so that we see some afternoon showers and storms in our forecast. But that's really not going to help anyone all that much. It's going to be hot for the next stretch of days. How long, you ask? Well, the heat advisory remains in effect until Wednesday night at 9 o'clock. Our radar is clear this morning and things are going to be just smoking with this heat advisory until late day Wednesday. We start the week hitting highs in the upper 80s to around 90 in western Wyoming, 90 in Afton. It'll be 94 in Montpelier and Soda and Lava. Overnight lows will be in the mid 50s. 99 degrees this afternoon in McCammon and at 57. I guarantee you the Love's truck stop here along, along 15 will be busy with folks getting drinks this afternoon. Afternoon. Malad, it'll be 100 degrees, 98 in Preston, and it could feel warmer than that uh, depending upon any kind of humidity that might be there. So 100 plus degrees, just know that, all right? Take care today, dress appropriately, light colors, lots of water, take care of pets, make sure everybody's got some air or some shade. 96 in Du Bois, St. Anthony, and Rexburg. 92 in Driggs, it'll be 94 in Ashton, 87 for Jackson and a bubble of high pressure is just right there on us and that means that no one's escaping. We're going to have tremendous amounts of heat and no other system can get in or out. So 92 for Mackey, 93 in Arco, it'll be 98 in Chalice and 95 in Salmon and you can see the heat advisory catches everyone. It'll be 100 degrees in Aberdeen this afternoon, 100 plus in Pocatello. We may set some more records today. We set one yesterday in Pocatello of 97 degrees. Hadn't seen that on this date since 1966, sometime before when my parents were dating. A 97 in INL for the afternoon, 98 in IF and Blackfoot 98. We expect these temperatures to feel more like 100 and plus degrees with overnight lows in the 60s. Look at this beautiful start to the day. It's going to be HOT hot, 90 for the afternoon, 95 tomorrow, 95 for Wednesday with a heat advisory remaining in effect until Wednesday night at 9 o'clock. Then we'll see straight 90s into the weekend. It'll be a little cooler, but not much. Pocatello, 101 today, 99 KUPI degrees uh, tomorrow, and then 98 for Wednesday. We're still in the mid-90s for the rest of the week. Overnight lows will be cl close to 70. Blackfoot, 98, 96. Yep, you're going to keep it in the 90s for the rest of the week slight shower chance by about Wednesday if we can fire anything up with any kind of moisture that moves in from the southwest because that sunshine will be blowing in here like nobody's business. 96 for the afternoon in Rexburg will be in the upper 50s overnight back down toward 90 by about uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Salmon 96 today, a 20% chance of a pop-up storm and 95 tomorrow, maybe some convection. Doesn't look like it's that big of a deal though. We're only going to be 92 for Wednesday. It's hot. Yeah, I get hot just looking at this forecast. We'll be back in the mid 90s by the end of the week. Jackson 92, mostly sun and 90 tomorrow. Slight mountain shower chance for Thursday at 85, but still warm with overnight lows in the mid 40s. Back to you. All right, thanks so much.